Um, I don't know how long in, um, but I saw something fly across the room. Um, seemed like everybody kind of leaned, um, leaned over to, to look at what it was. I never really figured out what it was um, at the time. Um, and then from the corner, I um, thought I heard uh, like firecrackers um, and figured that somebody was playing a prank. Um, you know, was, everyone was excited. It was a big show. I figured someone was being stupid and playing a prank um, and fairly quickly realized that uh, it was gunfire. Um, I could see um, flashes um, coming from uh, the guns like, um, you know, I'd, you, we've all seen on TV. Um, and um, we hit the ground. Um, what do you remember after you hit the ground? Um, I remember laying on my right side, um, pulling Caitlin down. Um, she was kind of towards my feet, um, and I was laying next to Alex, um, trying to look out from between the seats um, to kind of see what was happening. Um, and at some point, there was a loud and like forceful something that hit nearby. It felt like something hit the seat really, really hard. Um, and I saw Alex um, slump to the ground. Um, Amanda started screaming his name and um, shaking him. Um, it was about then that I, I mean, obviously I realized what was going on at that point, um, that there's gunfire, and I, I don't know whether consciously or subconsciously I knew that Alex was dead and that we had to get out of there. Um, I grabbed Amanda and said, we need to get out of here, and um, we ran out. Now, had you recognized at that point in time if you had been injured? No, I didn't. So while you were outside of the theater, did someone alert you to the fact that maybe you had some injuries? Um, yes, while we were out in the parking lot, um, I kind of had sat Caitlin and Amanda down um, on a curb somewhere, and I kept going out to try to find someone who could kind of tell me what was going on. Um, you know, see if I could find a, a police officer or EMS person to um, find out where Alex might be being taken or, or how we could find out how he was. Um, and I kept having people say, um, you're injured, you need help. Um, and I didn't think that I was, so I would tell them, no, I'm, I'm fine, I'm just trying to find out information. Um, eventually, when they started kind of separating us out um, to to transport people, somebody finally grabbed me and said, hey, you have shrapnel in you. You need to get help. And I think at that point, because they were ready to take, um, you know, someone else would take Amanda and Caitlin, um, I finally realized, okay, I can let someone take me. Were you transported in an ambulance? I was. I was. What do you remember about that ambulance ride? Um, the paramedic in the ambulance was uh, cleaning me off a little bit, wiping some of the, the blood and stuff from my face. Um, I remember at one point kind of turning to my right and there was a, a panel of um, you know, medical equipment uh, with kind of a glass or plastic um, case and I could see my reflection in it and I could see bits of something on my head on my face and I thought it was Alex's brain and I asked the paramedic um, what it was and she said that uh, it probably wasn't that, that it was um, pieces of, of fat but either way it was pieces of Alex. What hospital were you transported to? 